Hello everybody, Brandon Parker, back in with another tutorial. This time this tutorial is going to be on Photoshop, the new Photoshop that just came out, which is actually I'm going to be doing a tutorial on all the Adobe programs, the, the new CS6 programs. This is going to be Photoshop CS6. So, it just came out uh, about two weeks ago or so, so not too long ago, it came out this month. And um, I'm going to be showing you some of the new features, there's not very much, there's just a little bit. It's still a little bit of... Uh, more of the same features that uh, CS5 had and I didn't really use CS5.5 when that came out I just did on CS5.0 and I just waited until CS6 came out I didn't feel the need to update I didn't really have any troubles with it or anything and I've always liked uh, Photoshop uh, everything about it and I always liked uh, uh, After Effects and I've been doing a lot more of the other programs that I never did when I had CS5 the Master Collection that's what I've been using I have all the Adobe programs that are the most popular ones and ones that are used all the time which is Premiere Pro uh, Photoshop After Effects Illustrator and Dreamweaver those are the main ones that I use all the time and and those are the ones that uh, I've done uh, a tutorial on uh, Dreamweaver I've done a tutorial on that I've done a lot of Photoshop tutorials, and so this is going to be like, a, and, a, and a little bit of After Effects tutorials, but this tutorial is going to be more of an overview, showing you some of the new features a little bit, and in my next tutorial, I'll be showing you uh, a lot more other things that I haven't shown in my other tutorials uh, for CS5, and just moving on with CS6, and showing you some new things that I haven't showed you later on in my future Photoshop tutorials. So that's it, and let's get inside, and let's go, and let's get in there. So let's get right into Photoshop. So we're going to open up Photoshop. And this is what it looks like when you open up uh, Photoshop CS6 for the first time. And this is the layout. This is how it looks for both Mac and Windows. I tried out the beta version of the one for Windows because I didn't want to download the beta version for Mac. I just, so I just, and I have virtual version of Windows, so I just download the beta version and play around with that a little bit. And this is what it looks like on Windows on the beta version. And then this is how it looks like on the final version for Mac. So it's pretty much the same thing other than. Mac and Windows have their uh, clothes minimized on the different side, opposite sides of each other. And that's the only difference. And the color is different. It's dark gray. So it's more similar to if you ever use Sony Vegas, you have Windows. It's more similar to that uh, a little bit. I think, it's, I think it's better that it's more darker. It's a lot better to mess around with your images and stuff. And especially for Mac, I think it's better to have a solid background uh, in the program because if... On CS5, if you ever used uh, CS5 for Mac, you'll see that it'll show the, your desktop background. Like, it, it, this would show up in there, and it would kind of confuse you a little bit, especially if you're brand new to, like, it started in CS4 when I saw that, because that's when I first uh, got my Mac was when uh, Adobe was on CS4. And I saw the background, and it confused me a little bit. Like, I'm trying to edit my image in Photoshop, but then my background is uh, on my desktop wallpaper. If I did customize something like this, and I made it with a lot of stuff going on, it would confuse me a little bit. It took me a while to get used to it. So now that I got used to it, it, it doesn't really matter anymore. But I still think it's pretty cool that they have it solid like this. So that's a new feature right there is this, especially for Mac users. And uh, all these are the same. This is your select tool. Make sure you have this uh, checked, your show transform controls. Because if you don't have this checked, then you won't be able to uh, resize your image or your text. So make sure this is checked. So we're going to go to File New. So I can play around with this a little bit. And make sure you switch these from uh, uh, inches to pixels. You want this to be uh, 1920 by 1200. That's good for all computers. That's uh, mostly what you see on the internet if you're looking for wallpaper or something. It's perfect size, 1920 by 1200. So I do that, especially when I make a wallpaper. So go to that. Okay. And, and I really like this right here. See, you don't see the background of this, your desktop wallpaper. The whole program blocks it, and I think that's pretty good. I like the way they went back to that, especially for Mac. So uh, what we're going to do is do the text first okay so give it a second to load up okay because it, it takes a little bit and then we're going to go to i'll type in spider-man it's going to come in really small so you're going to resize this that's why you need to have your uh, transform control selected so apply that and transform uh control selected so you can resize this 
And I spelled it wrong because the text is too small and I didn't get to see it. So we're going to go back to here. Okay, Spider-Man. And down here, this is uh, the timeline for if you want to animate, make like a GIF. Say if you're waving, you want to do a, a animated picture of you waving or moving or if you move this. So to add a new one, so you check this. And then down here, this is where you add a new one. So you add a new one. And then whatever you did to the one that, that's highlighted. So we're highlighted on number two. So if you move this, it'll go down to there. Okay, and then you add another one. And say if you move this, it'll go all the way up to here on number three. Add another one. It'll go all the way here on number four. Number five, it'll go here. Number six, it'll go here. Six seconds. I guess that's how many, or how many seconds we could change that. I guess it'll let you do it. Like five seconds. And then let's see how this works. Uh, it's like a video timeline, uh, the way the timeline is. So, uh, we're going to play this. Yes, yeah, so it'll hold it for like five seconds. You might want it to hold it for one second. So go to this. See, it'll be moving like that. Kind of like it's moving too fast. You might want to hold this uh, for, let's say, one second. See how that looks? So it's like making a GIF. So if you're trying to do uh, a GIF of you waving or something, get different poses of you. One, you with your hand in a different position, you with your hand in another, waving another way. Do different uh, poses. Play around with that a little bit. So say if I wanted to do, uh, okay, let's go to layer, new. So we're going to go to uh, layer, new, layer, okay. And say if I uh, file import, or if I import or you know, open, we don't need to import images or anything. So say if I have an image of something, and give it a second. Uh, this, so say if I have, okay, let's have this. Selena, this is Selena Gomez right here, okay? So I have this. She's standing like this right here, okay? And this is going to be on all of them. So you're going to have to erase what you don't want in your, uh, right down here, your layers area down here where it shows all of them. So if you don't want the text anymore, delete that. And whatever got animated, it's going to be gone. So we haven't done anything to Selena Gomez. So we have to, uh, okay, and I accidentally selected on that. Make sure, uh, so if you want her like this on this one, okay. Then on this one, you want to open this. You want her to do this. Okay. Uh, bring this out. Put this right here. Okay, now she's right here. This is the second one that we're on. She shows up there. Okay. On this, she's right here. On this, she's right here. On top of this. Okay, she's on top of this right here. On top of this. On top of this. Okay, make sure we're selected on this. There we go. So, we're gonna go back to here. See, that's what that does. You might want to blend in the backgrounds a little bit, erasing her out. So it looks like she's moving, but you put them on top of each other. So she has to be, so if you want her hand to be like this later on, make sure that you get a photo of somebody or yourself uh, doing different actions, moving your hand a different way, like pointing out on one picture, then another picture pointing up, or however you want it, That's that'll be a GIF, and if you want it to be a GIF, uh, GIF or GIF, whatever you call it, uh, go here, we go to save as, okay, and you save it as um, a GIF right here, 
CompuServe GIF, and that'll be an animated GIF like what you see, uh, certain images uh, that you see on the internet uh, when you see animated uh, pictures. That's what they do. And this is a new feature. I added a new timeline to make it easier to make uh, animated GIFs in Photoshop. I think that's a lot uh, cool. So this is a new feature right here. And if you go to here, uh, your centrals is your default tab. It'll say new in CS6. New in CS6 is uh, uh, the mini bridge uh, layers. Uh, uh, there's a new feature in adjustments when it's called color lookup. You're looking up a color in here, playing around with this, abstract colors, uh, whatever. Uh, you're looking up something uh, red a little bit. That's what's new in adjustments. Uh, there's properties, uh, loadouts, play around with that. Uh, I ain't gonna go around these too much because they really don't really, as for me right now, I don't really see a need with a lot of these right now. I just like what I've been using in CS5, which is just uh, the features that uh, really haven't added much new anyway, other than the timeline is a pretty big new feature inside of uh, CS6 right now in Photoshop. So that's what's new in uh, CS6. Uh, so we're going to go back to Essentials because I keep the default uh, layout. And color lookup, if you want to change the color, so you can go to this and we can change the color. So that's what color lookup does changes the color of something if you're trying to enhance photos more so we want red color range maybe you want it to be uh playing around with this range of this photo okay you're playing around with that a little bit mask the edges you can see the changes a little bit That's what color lookup is, adding a color in between between here. So you might want it on top so that it shows up on all of them, whatever you added in the color uh, lookup. So we're, let me change, we can have it 3D, uh, this, we can have it to be this, soft warming. Changing the color, I think it makes it look really nice, it enhances the photos. It does something similar to what actions do. So if we uh, leave that there, uh, action, so we're going to go to actions, and say if we have that on, and we'll just go to at whatever actions uh, that I have, uh, default actions, and I think I'm going to have to load them up manually. So what I do here is uh, uh, load an action, so load actions. So what I'm going to do is to load your actions, and I already showed you this in my uh, actions tutorial, but I'm uh, just going to go in here and show you since I have to get them anyways. So we're going to go to uh, brushes because that's there already uh, showing up. And we go to actions and select on your Mac, you would go to uh, highlight them all or if you're trying to manually select one. So we're going to select all of them and go to open. So we opened all of them. Should it should it open? It should yeah. I think it got all of them right there. If it didn't, you might have to uh, manually do it. Yellow, vintage, blue. Yeah, they're all there. Uh, set to uh, one. Mask adjust. These are your actions. Uh, DVD installer. Actions three. Yep, all of them are there. Uh, I'm looking for the one of the ones that I like, which is probably they're probably in alphabetical order. And mixed with some of these are like new ones. So I'll go all the way to the top here. And see where, it, oh there it is, 10. This is uh, action 10. Okay, right here you click on it. Okay, when it's like this. And then you go to uh, press play down here to uh, add it. And they'll add it. So some of the actions, some of these people created and some of them that you download if you download them on different and I'll put the video uh, in, at the end of this uh, in the script or at the end uh, and you could check it out put the link there to my uh, how to mess around with actions a little bit and that's what actions do and color lookup uh, kind of does the same thing a little bit this probably brightens it up too much so if you don't like that go back to what you had all the way to the history tool because this is the history tool 
And these are uh, stuff that I added. Like if you go to Windows, you could uh, add whichever ones you want. So you just play them out, around with this a little bit. And that's pretty much it on this video, showing you uh, a little bit of the new features. Mostly the new feature that uh, I think is a big addition is the timeline, uh, messing around, making uh, animated GIFs and stuff. And that's pretty much okay, it. Okay, thanks for watching this video. Thanks for watching the tutorial. Uh, please subscribe to me uh, on uh, Fantasy Art for gameplay videos. Uh, that's my third channel. It's a gaming channel. My second channel that I do random videos for, that one's Spinoff. I'll put links to those uh, at the end of this video and a link to uh, a tutorial, the last one that I just did, uh, which is on uh, FL Studio, the last tutorial that I just did. Uh, that's for Windows, FL Studio. And uh, so if you got any tutorial questions, bring them up to me, uh, whatever you have, uh, anything, any software. Uh, I, have a, a, I have a good amount of software. I have all the Adobe programs. If you need questions with that, I have... Uh, Final Cut, which is for Mac, and I have uh, Sony Vegas for Windows, and I have FL Studio, Logic Pro, uh, the Mac and Windows version programs of those, music editing, and uh, so yep, check out my website, pixelpocketmedia.com for all updates, everything, I'm going to be uh, changing uh, a little bit, uh, the look of it a little bit, and I'm going to be messing around my forums, updating it a lot, adding more features to it, adding more stuff, and making it a lot easier for people to get on there and trying to block out some of the bad people that get on there like the people who like to post uh, uh, spam and stuff so I'm gonna try to gear towards that but still make it easy for people to get on there and uh, that's it uh, see you later and I'm also working on a new video for my Spinoc channel I'm going to be editing that this week so it'll be up sometime this week and, and I'll be doing some gameplay videos in between that and so be on my Fantasy Art channel for gameplay videos and, and stuff and I do Modern Warfare, I do uh, Gotham City Imposters, and I'll be doing a lot of uh, classic games and stuff. So if you have requests on gameplay videos or just anything in general, just ask me, let me know, and hit me up in a message or Facebook. Everything will be on the description to check me out where I'm at. Uh, if you want to ask me some questions, you have requests, whatever, anywhere on any of my channels, just ask me. And that's it. See you later, and that's it. Come, come.